last time we spoke after your fight, uh, we talked a lot about just going for that championship belt again, becoming back-to-back -back champ. How does the, the feeling of having that opportunity right now change? Uh, it didn't change. I mean, I feel I feel great about that. I think it's the only uh, uh, like goal I have uh, right now. Um, so I, you know, I have a trouble is here to find motivation, but this kind of motivates me. You know, it's a, it's really nice to uh, to be a champion, but it would be even uh, nicer to be double champ. Absolutely, and we saw last time out that highlight reel knockout with the flying knee. That was ridiculous. Not that uh, flying, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you foresee another big finish in, in this uh, upcoming fight? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I would like to uh, to do that, but like I, I won't rush thing. You know, I, uh, I think my uh, if I rush thing, I'm just gonna make mistakes. So um, I'm not I'm not like trying to push it, but uh, for sure it would be great. You know. You also did mention that you feel like you're you're coming towards uh, a point where you're you want to focus a little bit more on other things in life. Uh, and you're not sure if you would be continuing after next season. Do you still feel the same way, or uh, have you changed your mindset? I don't know. I feel more than ever the same way. Um, that's going to be my last uh, season, that's for sure. Awesome. And last one for me. Uh, Post-fight meal. I've been asking all the fighters. What are you planning? Um, there's uh, two really good restaurants in, uh, in New York, and uh, they are owned by a good friend of mine. So. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go at uh, Le Rock or Frenchette. Uh, it's probably the best meal I got in New York City, actually. And uh, the only thing I like about New York is the food, and so I went uh, in a lot of places, and those two places are amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much, and see you on Wednesday. Thank you. Let's go. Corey. Cool, are you with us? All right, we'll come right back to you. Uh, Aldrich. Olivier, my man, how you doing? I love the glasses. Emma, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. You know, you're back again, uh, trying to get that second, uh, that second belt and also another million dollars, man, after a monumental season for you last year and everything you had to overcome. What is the mindset big bone on in this? in this upcoming season is the same as things evolved what has changed uh no i think it's a little bit different you know there was a lot of weight on my shoulder last last season uh because like the money could have changed my life the belt could have changed my uh, my life and this year it's a bonus you know it's just to solidify everything and uh, so there is less less uh, pressure on me and uh, I actually do that for myself this season. I do it uh, for my fans, but uh, like not for my, uh, how, how can I say that, like my family or everything else uh, around that, you know, you, you, money change, uh, change thing and uh, uh, the belt change thing too. So this time is just solidified everything. So the feeling is a little bit different. Uh, it's maybe harder to get motivated, but it's uh, it's still it's still fun, you know. Uh, I, 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 I would say that I try more thing in the cage than last year, actually. All right, and obviously, you know, you're fighting again in Madison Square Garden, uh, and you know, you talked about you know doing that. You know, I've asked you that question last year, and you brought a championship. You know, your uh, your uh, teammate has done that. You know, what does it mean to you know? PFL bringing an event or multiple events to Canada since they're expanding globally and you know how would you like to play a part in that whether it's fighting or just being an advocate um, I didn't hear all the questions but I think I know the question <laughs> so if I don't answer correctly tell me um, but uh, yeah I would like to uh, to bring PFL in Montreal that's for sure and I think we have some problem with the commission uh, but that would be a really great, uh, really great way to uh, finish my uh, uh, my career. To, to bring uh, PFL in Montreal. With that being said, it's going to be uh, 
uh, on PFL, you know, I don't want to do next year uh, the, the season, so I, I don't know if they're going to be willing to come in Montreal anyway uh, if I fight on the, on the card, but uh, we're going to see with them and uh, we're going to see what they offer, uh, but for sure it would be a great, great way to finish the, my career to fight in Montreal. And of course, you know, you, you've been fighting for a long time and, you know, you, you've pretty much made it aware that, you know, like, hey, you know, pretty much I want to focus on other things. What would you say the mark that you left on the sport, uh, Canadian MMA, and just in your life in general, like how has fighting shaped you to the man that you are and going forward to the future? Uh... Uh, do you mean how I changed the MME scene in, in Canada? Yes, yeah, so but along with just like your whole entire fight career as a whole, like how has it involved you, not just as a fighter, but as a person when it's all said and done? Uh, yeah, well, I think uh, one of the th thing that uh, changes, I showed that PFL existed, you know, uh, that you can have a career outside of the UFC and uh, that you can be different than uh, GSP2, you know, you, we don't need to be uh, all, uh, all the same athlete. Uh, I think everybody could be different and unique. Uh, so I think that that's the two main point, uh, the fact that you can have a career outside the UFC and that we don't really need to all be uh, the same when we fight. Thank you and best luck to you on Wednesday. Thank you. Corey. Is Corey still gone? Yep, Corey is still gone. Anyone else before we let Olivier go? Speak now. Oh, um, I'll ask one more. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> My man. Um, one of the things, you know, you talked about food, right? And you said that's the best thing about New York. I would say, what is... In your career, what are the top five cities that you know have had the best food? The top five cities. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I think I won't say it. Maybe a top five, but I think the best moment I had after a fight. Weirdly, it was in Las Vegas. Uh, my parents came to to uh, not to see me, but just to visit me after my fight and they were in this uh, recreational uh, vehicle and they passed the day with me after that and it was one of the nicest, be most beautiful day of my, uh, of my life actually, of my career uh, to, uh, to have that moment with, uh, with them and uh, it was truly magical, you know, everything was perfect uh, uh, we had a good meal, we had a great meal, we had a great day so that was a, a real a good memory uh, from uh, from one of the the city that I don't necessarily like, you know, Las Vegas is a little bit too much for me. And again, I think another <laughs> great after party uh, was in New York City. Even though I, I'm not a big fan of New York City, uh, I think it was one of the greatest uh, after party after after fight uh, last year. Uh, when I won the, the tournament and the, the fight before too. I went to so many restaurants and I had so much fun. So I, I would say even though I wouldn't go there for vacation, those two experiences were one of the best in my life, you know. All right, I think we got Corey back. Corey? Oh my God, no. Olivia, <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> All right. How you doing? It's Corey from Tunnel Vision Sports. You're on a huge win streak, and you're undefeated in the PFL. With a win Wednesday and another trip to the finals, is it time to start mentioning you among some of the best in the world at lightweight? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I consider myself uh, as one of the best in, uh, in lightweight. I think it's a really, really busy uh, category, but I think uh, I'm, uh, I'm up there, you know. Uh, I think that's going to be the biggest... Uh, Biggest thing I really regret, you know, uh, after uh, I retired, is not to fight uh, for one uh, against one of the top five uh, before I end my uh, my career. Uh, 